Hi YouTubers, I hope you enjoy about the show today. Before before we get going, hope you subscribe and hope you I hope I hope you subscribe and watch all. Um, I'll be I got my black belt green in two weeks, so so I'll be paying for it all tonight. So wish me luck and hope I pass and hopefully I'll have a good reader on the fifteenth of September. So. Hopefully we'll be playing some well. I'll show you the deck when it's that time. Okay, let's get started with deck for First things are uh, hand traps, ash boss and drive. This is gonna be witchcraft today. So ash boss and draw spread, just throw away hand traps and just to negate and just to blow people out, just the negation, just to stop something for the deck, something for the grave for the deck, send to the grave or add to your hand. And then we go, and then that's really it. Right there. Just to stop effect negation, other cards to help you out, and that sort of thing, which is good, cool. Then uh, go so just to help you out, just to just to be a just to, to stop against pendulum or any deck with any card needs a bow card and stuff like that. I mean, anyone can destroy it, not or sample or anything like that. So, so the witchcraft, so the little ones, so the pilots or the witches, um. Uh, Discard this. They discard. They send their self and send a witchcraft spell to the graveyard. Okay, so they send spell to the graveyard and special on one witchcraft from deck. Okay, that's what all the little ones do. Right, and then when when so the witchcraft Aviuson. When this card is sent to the great, it can send one witchcraft card to your deck to your hand. Okay, you can only use this card effect once per turn. So you send it off to the graveyard uh, and special on the defensive one. Then you will summon the. Then, then you'll send another one to get more spells into your hand. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. So you play through because the level four, it's also a beat. So if it doesn't pull off, it's also a beat. So if you need to get rid of monsters, you can do. It. Then you play which card? Prosiki. Allergies. So, so this one does the same effect. Discard one, special and one for the deck. Yep. The other effect. It with this witchcraft one is target one witchcraft card in your girl and bring back to your hand. That fed you never news, but the other fed so your first fed you always gonna use, the second fed you're never gonna use. But this is this is cool. This is just a good name, and sometimes you might need just to be a bit preventive if you don't have any spells. Because the problem is this deck is you can have no spells, so and then it's witchcraft uh, and Hotsiski. So, so discard one spell, summon the witchcraft from your deck. This one, right. Draw one card and send witch witchcraft spells to your deck through your hand to the graveyard. If you don't have any witchcraft cards, you have to discard your whole entire hand. So there's a bit of a cost to this. You have there's a bit of a risk with more wins wins the wall with this card. So you have to be careful. You have to know when the right time to send this card to the graveyard, which is good. Um, I I play three of this, but this is one of those cards. I feel like. You just have to know when to do it and make sure you've got a witchcraft hand, so that's cool. Then we've got witchcraft master Valkyra, Valkyries. So this witchcraft one, so the big one, so basically when you attack this one in the balance step, you gain a thousand, a thousand attack and defense for every spell card in your hand. So you just go, Choo! So which, so, so it could be like really big defensive or really big attacking, so it depends how you got in your hand. So this is more the defense one. This is the one you're gonna summon going first most of the time you'll summon this guy first. Second effect is you can discard one spell card from your hand to negate all card effects on your opponent's turn. So on your turn. So so you can negate all their effects, which is good. Which is good. So so this card's very good. It can be very impactful. So if you go in against big balls you just go negate everything. Yeah. Then you got witchcraft hider. So basically this one this one can't be destroyed by card effects. So quick effect, discard one spell card and you can target one card and the opponent you can find one face up card on the field and destroy it. So basically this is kinda of like your drawing for the deck, so this is kinda of one that will pop your back row and stuff like that for your deck, which is really nice and really helpful in that sort of way. Really good, I'll buy two of this, so free, free, free. So this is a two off because you don't the big ones you don't want to see too often. I tend to find you don't want to see the big ones not very often. Again, I don't feel, I feel like with witchcraft, you want to play them like, you can see little ones often, but the big ones, you they can just brick in your hand, they do absolutely nothing. Oh, yeah. 
Then we got Witchcraft Scholar. So this one is your removal. So if they target a Witchcraft card, quick effect, you can you can bounce this, you can bounce the target and special this card from the hand. And if that's one witchcraft spell from you the ground the graveyard odd, which is good. And then then this card will turn to your hand and the next opponent's next standby face up. So so this is kinda of like a spirit. This is your attacking one. This is your attacking one, so you can just go chum. Um, yours this is kind of your removal or so. Which is good, so that's all the monster spells. So there are 20 monsters, 16 spells, 4 traps. So, Witchcraft Creation. So, this is this adds one spell, create one Witchcraft monster from dead to your hand. Yep. And to the end of, uh, at the end phase, all these Witchcraft spells have effects. If you didn't use this Witchcraft effect of this card, you could add it back to your hand. You can only use one card of each effect of this card once per time. So, you can't search and add it back. So, you've got to choose to search or add back. Okay, that's what the point of this card. Witchcraft holiday. So basically, this gets one witchcraft from you when you back to your field. This is your monster three bomb for the deck, which is good. This card's very good. It's very quite powerful. It helps you out in some conditions. Sometimes you want this card in the graveyard to help you out to get monsters back and get you that sort of thing. Next witchcraft scroll. So scroll basically. It takes your monsters by battle. Can attack all your witchcraft monsters by battle, and you can draw one card with this card. And then, then the witchcraft cards win this by card effect. So this card can come in the end phase and play in this spell trap card, which is good. Which is pretty good. So post my thing. I need to. Look up the right rampage, so that's good. That's what makes this card good. Then we play Witchcraft Street. So, Street um, takes all your spellcraft monsters by battle and by card effects X once, and then that's really it. Um, it attacks them, um, and that's really good. And it then comes back to the spell and track cards, then, which is cool, I guess, which is really helpful. There. Then we play Super Poly at two just to get rid of opponents, just to get rid of opponents' cards, make it go second. And to, to get rid of disruption on your turn and the opponent's turn if you have it set. And then monster rebound to get monsters back, to get cards back to the opponent, your grail, that sort of stuff, to get your link plays going. Monst um part of the side just to get draw and just to see just to see spells. Just make sure you see all the combos first. But there's not too many combos with witchcraft you need to do first. Just need to get the big girl and then, then you get the get the big ladies and you'll be alright, which is cool. Then Scapegoat. So Scapegoat helps show with your link plays. Because the problem is with this deck is half the time is you play with the main deck but you can't use your X deck very often. So so this helps you out for getting monsters on your X deck and get you going, which is good. Then play reason. Reasoning can you see so all the witchcraft monsters are all different levels. So reason, so you've got a three, a two, and a four, okay? An eight and a seven. Okay, so there's loads of numbers, and and then it lets you isolate loads of spells for the graveyard to get you back. So this can help you get two monsters on the field, which is really good and really powerful. And the reason why is that one still is still really good and really helps out the situation with which it really solves out the problem having two monsters on the field at the same time. Monks and then making a good board. Um, warning, just to be a trap, just to stop Pirates monsters, just to stop the normal them, just to stop all that, all my traps will do that, and some and Jaws are free, just to stop absolutely everything you can, as this, as you want, yep, and then that's the main deck, X deck, so one of the best, well, you won't make your X deck very often, but you'll need it just in case, so, so as well as just to make, just to stop the continue, stop the grey effects, just to help you out, just be a good letter in four, just be that cool, good effect, and Summon great player come out just against summon great mirror, summon great matchup, and that sort of stuff, and help you in that sort of way, which is good. And you can use a pirate monster, which is good. Then we use Starring Venom Dragon, Fu Dra Starring Dragon Fusion Dragon. So this is your, this is, can be your fusion target and help you out in that sort of way. Get real dark monsters going against fun dragons. That any vanished deck or any dark centre deck will be good. Then we'll play Summon Great Elvarad just because it's this deck is most of the main monsters are under fifteen hundred, two of them are, so which is good. And get and this card turn help you out in some situations, get your links going, stuff like that. Nightmare Phoenix is good for popping back row, get rid of your monsters, get rid of back row, which is good. 
Cerberus to get rid of monsters and to draw cards. These draw cards. So this gets rid of spells and traps. This gets rid of monsters and on. So new gone to get rid of extra cards. And if you need to, to help you out in that sort of way. And um, Link for Langers, just a good Link monster. Links that I'll point boss. i point both down, which is good. Which is good to Link spies. Just get point down, and it can be good Link spies. And it's easy to make all these tokens. It's great because all the scapegoat monsters are normal monsters. Our tokens are Earth, and this helps you in some ways. Yeah, and Link Karibo, just to get more monsters on the field, just to make because these are tokens are good. And the Rias, the gold, the the Borrow of Goddess. So sometimes you summon this, not very often, but occasionally you might summon this. You might do a lot of ascending to summon this, but it's good. And then Midnight Crusader, yeah, just to be the luck, just to be the big boss monster, just to go second, just to get, just to do loads of raw damage, just to be hard and possible to target and to get rid of monsters, which is good, which is cool. Then we play Barlow, just to be, just can't be tired. Okay, can lose 500 and take Barlow, take Barlow, which is good. And then at the end, then they'll be not affected. Okay, so and that is the new witchcraft deck of for 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 August for August 2019 post rise rampage. I hope you enjoy and subscribe and watch all. Hope me I do well the region as you from the calm down that day and and get a autograph or or play with me. I'll help you. I'll give me luck for the for the for the um for the black belt and subscribe and watch all. See you all next time. Bye bye.